Yeah, I just installed uh, WordPerfect 6 in this uh, Windows Virtual Machine. I need to <clears throat> go back and uh, document more of how this was done. Uh, let's see. Oh, man, I haven't seen this in ages. So, yeah, this is WordPerfect 6.0 installed on Windows 3.1 in DOS um, 6.22 running in QEMU. <coughs> Actually, getting the files <laughs> into the virtual machine uh, was the biggest challenge. I ended up creating a 2 gigabyte disk, but it turns out that it seems Win Linux doesn't know how to mount a FAT16 partition. So I ended up using a uh, old copy of Windows 7 in a VM, mounted my data drive, and was able to uh, copy it that way. Um, but hello world. This is amazing. This is the way I learned how to write in high school was this program right here. I mean, I have a lot of good memories of WordPerfect, so I'm going to definitely come back to this. But um, let's see what other cool things I had on my NAS that I can install. Um, that was WordPerfect. I used to started to learn to program in Borland Turbo C++. Yes, that is... Uh, one of the first ways I have wonderful memories of this program. Actually, the the bo original boxes are still at my parents' house. My grandmother, um, not knowing even what C++ was, uh, bought this program for me so that I could learn to program. So uh, seeing this running again is just super exciting. And again, so uh, the first step was to get DOS installed in QEMU. Uh, there are instructions on the internet. And then Windows 3.1. <clears throat> so a lot of these programs, when you try to run them uh, in uh, more newer Windows, it's, it's no longer compatible. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This is Borland Turbo C++ 3.1. I have not seen this. Okay, I'm going to have to make a Hello World program uh, before too long. And if I recall, there was like a uh, inspector. There was this workshop thing that was about creating um, oh man I am going to have to come back to that Let's see some of these aren't going to be compatible oh yeah I did have visual basic let's see can I install visual basic from my backups of my own disks and the physical disks are definitely somewhere, uh, probably at my parents' house. Already been used by Frank Rietta. I am Frank Rietta, so you know that was correct. Okay. Create their directory. There was a little bit of a problem with that file. Oh, let's see if I can get it here. And this, my friends, let me close this, is what Visual Basic looked like. And you could actually drag a box, double click it, 
and type, let's see, chemist G-Box, I think. Let's go ahead and save this. Oh yeah, this was back when Windows didn't have the program files folder yet unless you got real specific I think I created a docs folder so we can do that so I'm going to do this close I'm going to run this and there my friends is a message box in Visual Basic 3 oh this is um, between these things and of course the real thing um, if you've never done this before, back in the day when you had MS-DOS, there's a way to get to the terminal. I think there, yep, there's WordPad. There is MS-DOS prompt, QBasic. Now this, this is the best part about getting MS-DOS running again. So, oh yeah, I have a really weird keyboard. There we go. Exit. Well, now my uh, fun little uh, Windows 3.1 emulator actually has some period programs in it. And uh, I could legit use WordPerfect. Uh, for what I do in open office these days. Uh, let's see. Did this have a headline? That's the font size. Font. Oh my gosh. Yep, there's Arial. Grammatic. So... I misspelled this word. I have some good ideas. Let's see. Speller. Start. Yeah, I think this was before the days of uh, the squiggly um, underline. Draw. Date text. Layout. Even under emulation, this is 100 times faster than uh, the uh, most of the text editors that I know today. Here's something about styles. That might be. Ah! Headline 1. Could definitely write a report like this. Save. Oh, WP Docs, I guess. Uh, documents, graphics. WP Docs. And we could call this hello. Got WPD. And, ooh, what's text art? Oh. Seriously. Amazing. Yeah, for real, you could do some incredible things at this time. Um, I keep on forgetting that my squirrel wheel doesn't work. I actually have to click um, like this. So anyway, this is an experiment. Um, I could do lots of things from here, but we're just going to leave this. So seriously, amazing Turbo C++. I could see index header file. Yes. Okay. That's it for now.